So uh, we went from blue shift to red shift for um, game two. Um, this is a best of five. We're up to best of fives now for the round of it. Um, Grey Raven having taken the first game. Um, but yeah, it was not a, a hugely one-sided game. Um, and there was definitely potential for either player to win that. In the end, uh, I feel like the decisive moment was the move out with only about six Hydras to snipe the Medivax returning home from a drop. Um, and honestly, Space Lobster didn't really respond to that because you can hit the boost button and just turn the high, turn the Medivax around and you lose one of them rather than four. Um, four Medivacs, three of them full of units or at the very least half full. Um, that's incredibly painful. That's so, so expensive. Um, so that was the real uh, turning point. Now, um, let's talk about Redshift a little bit. It's a really, really interesting map. Look at this map. So you've got this gold expo at the back, but look, this area can be absolutely attacked from the other side. It's not walled in. Um, so you can expo down here and as a Zerg, I generally would. I'd just go ahead and expo here. And one of the things you can do is send some workers around the other side to build a spine crawler in the back here um, on the creep. Once the hatchery finishes, the creep will extend just past there. And you can build a spine crawler there. Um, and that can really help. Uh, and as long as you've got something on the watchtower, you can see stuff coming. Um, a gold base, an early gold base, a Zerg, you know, any map with a gold. It's always a tempting thing for the Zerg to just go ahead and expo there. As it is, it's Space Lobster that's expoing here, and I love it. Um, as the Terran, you can drop mules on this. So the way to prep for this um, is arguably, as this is building, turn all of your spare minerals into barracks, all of it. Um, just before this finishes, you grab, uh, how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. You grab 12 of your SCVs and you transfer them to the gold. Um, you drop mule energy on the gold as well. And your income will spike brutally at that point, like really brutally. Grey Riven sees this though, and this could be a real problem. Roach Ravager on this map is such a win because the Ravagers can come in here and corrosive bile the command center. The Roaches can uh, slay all the workers, but you do need to take action you can't really just let your opponent mine the gold. Um, it is an interesting map because obviously these mine out pretty quickly. There's only 900 minerals in these smaller patches. And once they're mined out, this is open. And so Lings have got a path into your base. Does Space Lobster realize that there's a door here? I'm not so sure he does. Um, I don't think he's looked around the map, which is a mistake always look around the map find out what it is you're playing on does gray raven realize that of course she does surely right so it's the blind spine crawler again and i don't know i don't know about this um again i think i prefer lings the lings you know how many units are there right now for space lobster one marine or something where even is it where are they uh, uh, can't you can't you double click that and get it to show you where the units are? Oh, maybe they're in production. There they are. Look. Um, so these are only just come out. A handful of lings instead of the spine crawler could have come in and had a look around. Now, as it is, there are three racks. One of them reacted, so we've got uh, sort of four marines at a time that we can build. Um, there is over saturation here and really space lobster what you want to be doing is transferring them to the gold uh, and instead of dropping mules up here drop the mules on the gold really spike that income but you do have to have more barracks to spend it otherwise this mineral bank is just going to spiral and you just don't have the means to spend that many minerals um, given that you're only mining gas with two workers at present the only thing you can spend the minerals on is stuff that doesn't cost any gas. Uh, so the single siege tank, I quite like it. Um, would like to see a uh, star port come down so that you can get a medevac out um, because that just makes such a big difference. But look right now, you know, there's a pause. There's, there's no Marines being produced right now. Are we supply blocked? Are we? No, there's just no Marines being built. 
Um, so what is being built? A starport and, and two depots, but why, why no units? Why no workers and why no Marines? Look, this money is just gonna stack up and up and up and up and up. And my concern here is that in about a minute's time, we're gonna check back and Space Lobster is gonna have 2K in the bank um, and not a very big army. Grey Raven up to 42 workers, so a reasonable lead has dropped a base here, but neither player is parked on the watchtower here on the Zelnaga uh, view tower. This handful of slow roaches are gonna come across the map and see what they can get done. And the short answer is gonna be nothing. There's a siege tank in position. It's gonna open up on them pretty shortly. Is it gonna get a shot off? They're actually out of vision range. Um, and there's easily enough Marines here to deal with this. Um, so yeah, they, they don't even escape. Um, yeah, so I, that was, a, a, I'm not sure what that was really. A bit weird. The handful of slow roaches um, just to see what was there, but you know, I think I'd have preferred two lings two minutes ago um, that could have run in for free and had a little peek around. Space Lobster gonna move out. I look at this per medevac. Uh, thank you, Space Lobster does manage to fix it. Um, yeah, you know, pro tips with your medevacs, if, if you right click onto a unit, the medevacs will pick up that unit. If you A, then click attack move onto a unit, the medevac follows that unit um, and will heal it. So uh, Space Lobster's gonna come in here and you can just siege up here, Space Lobster. And I don't know, Grey Ribbon doesn't have enough to come and deal with it. Um, but those siege tanks, again, not sieging up. Um, not sure why, I'd like them to be sieged up. Um, you know, just this one isn't even firing. The additional range they get when they're in siege mode is so big. Um, and of course the splash damage effect is so useful um, that yeah, these sieged up would be absolutely brutal. But uh, Space Lobster manages to take out this base completely uncontested. Grey Raven of course does now know that this is coming, but weirdly there's no units in production. Is Grey Raven supply blocked? No. So I'm not really sure why we don't have stuff building. Finally, two roaches in production. Um, now choose where you're gonna take this fight. I don't like that at all. Um, why not just wait here uh, for the army to come at you? This is a ramp. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell with the creep, but if your roaches are up here, then the Terran has to come up the ramp without vision, although there is a medevac in the mix. Um, the siege tanks, again, not sieged, um, are going to, are no, are not going to get taken out. And I think Grey Raven's in trouble. The army supply is um, ahead for Space Lobster, and with the two medevacs healing stuff up, just these marines aren't really dying um, so you know reasonable opportunity here for space lobster to hit the stim button and actually take out the roach warren because when you see a player going heavy on the roaches um, you know if we look at the upgrades grey raven has skipped ling speed if you kill this roach warren she's got slow lings and slow lings are just the last thing you want to be building against anything. This poor queen just is wandering about. No, no, um, Grey Ribbon's gone. I don't think that she can survive this push. Uh, are there more units coming across the map for Space Lobster? There are. Marines are building for a time. There's a siege tank building. There's more medevacs on the way. Um, yeah, again, why not sieged? I don't understand. Um, but yeah, there's, there's just nothing left for Grey Ribbon and, and she can build Hydras, but you know, we've seen how well Hydras do against siege tanks. It's not correct. I have no idea why Space Lobster is going home. What? Why? You, you've got, like this, it's GG. Oh, what? A misclick maybe? An accidental F2? I'm mm, not really sure. Um, but yeah, Grey Ribbon's in all sorts of trouble. Here come the Slowlings. Uh, absolutely just don't even get a shot off. They don't even get close to the units they need to hit. And yeah, I, th I think we're gonna see Grey Ribbon tap out here. Um, yeah, there's Marines everywhere. There's more Marines in production. There's only Hydras and Slowlings being produced for Grey Ribbon. Um, and yeah, this just, the reinforcements coming in are pretty brutal. So yeah, it's only really a matter of time here. This hatchery is about to fall. Um, another siege tank coming in. I just I really love to see these siege tanks being sieged up in the back. You know, that's that's how you use them. But anyway, um, it is GG and uh, Space Lobster takes it with 
without much resistance, to be honest. Um, a slightly weird game from Grey Raven. The five sort of roach push was a bit weird. The sort of no effort to, to hold this. And okay, that I, I don't mind so much, but if you're gonna take this, you need to know if something is coming. So I guess what I object to more is taking this and not having something in place to know if if your opponent is gonna come and try and take it out into this zone. You know, so holding this cell Naga Tower crucial uh, and maybe having some spines or something like that to buy you time. And honestly, with the roaches, I think I'd have preferred fast lanes, bend lanes, um, because they can just come around and get the wrap around on an army. They're so fast, they're so mobile. Um, or, you know, the army turns up here, the counter attack with lings can be absolutely brutal. They can just high till it across the map and they'd be up this ramp absolutely uncontested. Um, and then, yeah, you lose this base, but you're getting quite a lot of counter damage done in your opponent's base. Anyway, that's not what happened. And Space Lobster levels it up. One